Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra and it is a new year. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are also in the same boat as me, kind of thinking about your career goals for 2023. And I know this is going to look different for everyone depending on whether or not you're still a student or maybe you're in your early career like me and are basically just thinking about where you want to go in your career, especially after performance reviews. So let's just go into a few things I wanted to cover in this video. The first one is promotions. So I don't know if any of you guys can relate to this, but I feel like I'm in a situation where I don't necessarily feel like I'm ready for a promotion especially hitting the fact that I'm going to have four and a half years of experience after this year but for the most part because my first job I was in a rotation program I was there for two and a half years but I was really on three different teams one year each the first two teams I was on for one year and the third one I was on for half a year in terms of impact I do think it was there but for the most part because I was only on my team for a year I don't really have that really strong subject matter expertise in a specific area and because all the teams I worked on were so different I can't actually feel really strong in one specific area which not gonna lie is not something I dislike I do like being a generalist and kind of knowing a bunch of things about a bunch of different things so it's not like I want to be a specialist or an SME in a specific area but I do think that also comes to mind when you are thinking about promotions you kind of expect yourself to be an SME or subject matter expert in a specific area and that's why you deserve XYZ promotion and in my case I've been in my current job for going on a year now um, which is crazy it's really really crazy I feel like I just started this job but at the same time I feel like I've been here for a long time and and even now I feel like I don't know if I am someone that is necessarily a pro in any specific area either also because our team is really small, I work for a much smaller company now compared to a Fortune 500 or Fortune 50 company. And basically there are thousands of people on the cybersecurity team. And in my current role, there's about less than 10 or so. So for the most part, I don't, I definitely have a lot more impact, I would say. So these are just things I'm thinking about, but I know when people think of career growth, they kind of first thing that they think about is promotions and that necessarily isn't really, you know, what I really care about. Um, I know there's like title promotions and things like that, but I don't really care about those things as much. Um, I know they come with obviously salary increases, which is probably more important for a lot of people. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't care about promotions. I'm saying that you should definitely take into consideration your scenario and your situation and your experience level and take all that into consideration and then decide what you want to go for. But, but for now, I'm basically just trying to learn as much as I can. And that's the mindset I kind of want to take moving forward with at least into this year for 2023. So that is kind of my mindset on promotion in case any of you guys are also in the same boat. The next thing I want to discuss is certifications. So I got my security plus certification actually back in 2020. And this is the year, I believe it only lasts for three years or so. So I'm gonna have to renew at the end of this year, but it's crazy to me again that I took that certification exam almost two and a half years ago now, two years ago. So by the end of the year, it will be closing on at that three year mark. And then I'm going to have to do some tasks to renew the certification. I don't know what they are yet, but I know there's some kind of thing that I have to do to make sure that it's still a valid certification. Um, I know I was originally studying for a few different types of certifications in 2022, but right now I I'm really considering what you know i kind of want to go into because i could go for a more specialized certification right now that you know could get me kind of like into a more specialized track but again i don't necessarily feel like i'm ready to or that i want to necessarily go into a specialized area in cybersecurity. but if it wasn't for a specialized track then my only other option that i feel like would be a consideration would be the cissp but Again, you need five or seven years of experience for that, unless you wanna get the certification first and then earn the experience after, which I can do that. But for the most part, I don't know how much that would benefit my career. Um, at least right now, I don't know if CISSP is something that really would benefit me, especially in my early career. People are still gonna hire the person with the CISSP with 10 years of experience versus me with three and a half years of experience and a CISSP. So, you know, I'm just kind of like weighing out my options right now and, there isn't necessarily like a mid-career certification that isn't specialized that that would make sense for me to get. For example, maybe the Pentest Plus would be a good option that's kind of like early-ish, mid-ish career and, and kind of test your pen testing skills. But I also don't do very much red teaming or offensive security things on a daily basis on my job. So I don't really know how much that would benefit me either. So I'm kind of in this middle ground of not really sure if I want to go for a specialized one, which obviously has implications for my career because I want to take advantage of the certification if I'm going to study for it. And the more generalized certifications in cybersecurity that I would want to get, like the CISSP, are definitely more for a more mid to senior level in terms of experience. So 
that is kind of where I am right now on this ground as well. I feel like this isn't really a career goals video anymore. This is kind of just me spilling out my thoughts on what I'm thinking about in my career. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you guys are also having these thoughts about what what could help you in your career at this point especially if you're in a spot like me where you have like three-ish four years of experience maybe two years of experience and you already took your security plus or your gsec or whatever beginner level certification that you could get and now you're kind of in that space well it's like well what do i do now maybe go for a master's program maybe go for a certification program um, maybe just do online training there's a lot of training courses so you can learn new skills and a lot of companies also have budgets for that yeah basically i'm kind of in that boat right now maybe it is just taking an online training program or maybe it's just buying a book or a membership for i don't know like a, a training platform or something so these are the things i'm just thinking about in the back of my mind i think this year is going to be a very pivotal time in my career a lot of things i'm still figuring out and i think that for the most part my career is very very on the fence i guess i'm still figuring out my long-term vision for my career and and obviously i also have this youtube channel that i want to keep running so i'm just trying to find that bright balance for taking my career forward but also growing this youtube channel and helping you guys get into cybersecurity and and that's personally one of my goals as well which is to help more people get into tech and get into cybersecurity and bring more women or minority groups into tech these are all areas i'm really passionate about that i've also that i've also done diversity and inclusion work on in my previous companies it kind of like all jumbles up together but now i'm just going off track so next thing is salary in terms of salary i don't know what this will look like because usually i think salary increases are also tied to promotions and i don't know what that setup is going to be like in my current role or in my current company specifically honestly it's kind of like a black box to me so i don't really have that much to share on this and of course salary isn't necessarily something that you can purely controlled by yourself because obviously it depends on the market and the sector that you're in your company and how it's doing and right now obviously it's not really really good in terms of economy so i don't necessarily expect a huge salary increase or anything like that but i did want to kind of throw that in there for anyone who is also thinking about it because because even though i'm not aiming for a promotion or aiming for like a 30 percent raise or something i still think it's important to think about so at least that you're keeping track of it as you're going on in your career and not just going with the flow and taking whatever's thrown at you but also knowing that when the right time comes for you to go for those things and ask for those things from your employer and your manager then make sure you're holding yourself responsible to that so this is as much for you as it is for me to kind of brainstorm and talk this out okay next one is a juicy one and that is job search am i going to switch jobs am i going to look for a different role are you guys looking for different roles i think right now it obviously is so very volatile in terms of the job market and job search but there are so many companies that are hiring especially for cybersecurity and that is not surprising because there is a huge need for cybersecurity professionals so definitely don't sell yourself short if you're someone who is just graduating from a boot camp or just graduating from a degree program there are definitely going to be jobs out there whether you start in it or go right into cybersecurity or maybe you start as an soc analyst there's a lot of different options for you or maybe you're in the middle of your job search and you're studying for a certification first while you know you're kind of going through the job search because that's a great way to just study in general for cybersecurity interviews personally for me i'm not considering going into the job search right now i will be hitting the one year mark at my current company and that is really exciting typically i've made videos on this on you know how frequent you should switch jobs and tech and stuff like that but because i've only been at the role for a year i don't plan on looking anywhere else anytime soon but i do think it is something for you to consider if you're someone who maybe has been at a company for three to four years maybe you're ready for the next switch maybe you want to pivot into a different sector in cybersecurity. maybe you want to go into a different sector in general and not even be in cybersecurity anymore and maybe you want to be a software developer or maybe you just want to leave tech um there's a lot of different things hopefully you don't want to leave tech but I do think that there's options out there and even though we are coming off of I don't know like waves of months of layoffs and job freezes and hiring freezes and things like that there is definitely still opportunity out there if you want to look for a new job obviously I've talked about the last and first out thing where if you get hired and a company has layoffs then and you've only been there for like two weeks then you are more likely to be laid off than someone who's been at the role for five years or something like that but i also think that these are all hypotheticals and not to say that it's 100 percent gonna happen or not gonna happen you know all risks to consider while you're switching jobs if you want to switch jobs in this current economy because right now i feel like a lot of sectors are yes doing layoffs specifically the big tech companies and tech in general but other sectors are really trying to hire so yeah i really think it's kind of a decision you want to make for yourself another thing is youtube so this one i wanted to throw in here i know not everyone has a youtube channel but this youtube channel is basically like my baby and i don't want to put it on the back burner and this year i have a lot of exciting things that are happening and 
And last year was the biggest year I've ever had on my channel. I think I started the year with less than 10,000 followers. No, 10,000 subscribers. And now there's like 40 something, a thousand of you. And that blows my mind in general. Um, I don't really have a goal for, you know, number of subscribers or anything like that. But I do think that I just want to make the best content that I can that can be helpful to you guys, whether you're in your early career or your mid-career. And I know everyone's kind of like at different levels. So I just want to make sure that I am able to still make beneficial content for you guys that are maybe in your early careers and have already started working in service security. Hmm. The next thing is freelance and contractor work. So this is something that I have considered for a while. Um, I actually used to do freelance writing for a short stint uh, right before COVID started actually. And I did that for a few months and it was honestly pretty nice. I was basically writing tech articles and I was writing about two a month. So it wasn't very often, but it was really nice because I was able to learn about new tech gadgets and tech trends and stuff like that. And then be able to write about it and basically do my own research. So it felt like I was in like a technical writing course or something, but more for cool tech gadgets and trends. And I know I've said this before, but one of my long-term goals is to do some kind of flexible work, whether it's contractor work or freelancing or or maybe even part-time if I'm able to. Um, not to say that I'm quitting my job anytime soon, but I do think that in terms of my long-term career goals, that is something that I want to do. Honestly, it would be you know even better if my current role would allow that, but that's definitely a conversation to have, I guess, in the future. So these are all just kind of things that I'm thinking about in terms of the kind of work that I want to do, where I want to do it, um, and the flexibility that I might have doing the work, <laughs> if that makes sense. And the last thing I want to discuss is learning new skills, tools, and coding. So as you guys know, last year I was spending a lot of time working on reverse engineering skills with my team specifically because we kind of have like a professional development time set aside. I'm learning a lot of this just from scratch, so I have no experience reversing or anything, anything already related. And I'm still getting accustomed to a lot of the tools that are being used. So I think continuing to learn different CTF or different tools I could potentially learn how to use um, as well as pivoting back to coding. I haven't coded in a very long time. And for those of you who don't know, I, I originally identified as a software engineer or a software developer, someone who codes basically. And as someone now who works in cybersecurity, I don't necessarily code very much. And not to say that I necessarily want to code on a daily basis, but I do think that it's very beneficial at least to keep up with. Honestly, it's kind of like one of those use it or lose it skills. and. I obviously don't want to lose it. So I think brushing up a little bit on Python and C-sharp, which were kind of like the primary languages that I've used, especially C-sharp, that was like my favorite language. Um, I don't really code in it anymore, but I do think that Python would be a good language to pick back up on. So yeah, hopefully this video kind of gave you guys a list or like a mind dump of what I'm thinking of for career goals and thinking of them. So not necessarily a specific career goal. If I get to XYZ, then I'll be happy, but it's more so like, how am I thinking about my career and where do I want to take it? What are the things I'm considering, whether it's certifications or promotions or salary or remote work maybe, or flexible work. So all these things are kind of things to think about, I guess, when you're kind of navigating the maze that is your career, but it's exciting also because you're kind of the one charting out your experience and where you want to go. So make sure you remember that you're in the driver's seat and especially working in tech, there's so many opportunities out there and definitely don't sell yourself short, always negotiate for your salary. If you don't like your current job, there are many, many jobs out there that you may potentially like better. Just basic things to keep in mind. Hopefully this video is helpful to you guys and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. Definitely let me know in the comments also if you guys have any experiences that you'd like to share about your career goals or, or maybe share a few if you're comfortable doing so and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye